All right, the last time I posted a spend the day with me, y'all really seemed to enjoy it. Also, the video where I did a ton of organization, I'm pretty sure it was me cleaning out my cabinets. That video did amazing. So, we are doing something similar today. It's kind of a mashup between the two of them. We are going to spend the day together. So, I'll show you everything I do. And second, we have a lot of loose ends i'm laughing because we watched the blacklist so like a loose end is not a good thing but um there's like just some spots in our home that need to be attained attained to attended to look at me trying to use big words <laughs> Anyways, if you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? My name's Kimmy, and I do like home update, home projects, DIY, um, cooking, cleaning, organizing, decorating, you name it. It's probably on this channel somewhere because I just love to do all the things. So, the first thing I'm going to do today is open up all my curtains and open up a window or two because it feels beautiful outside and I love some fresh air, so... Let's go ahead and do that now. Clouds roll by glittering. I never thought they would. Now that the windows are open and we've got some light in here, I am going to start with a load of laundry. Before I can get the load of laundry in the washing machine, I got to show y'all what our laundry room looks like right now. Okay, so let's talk about it. Um, these are things Aaron said he was going to do something with. I think he was planning to take these out to the shed. So, I'm going to let him do that. This is Chloe's. It always stays back here. There's some, like, dirty clothes here. I might as well wash this curtain that was back there. Because it's probably, like, dusty and stuff. Anyway. Laundry basket. Just a bunch of, like, random stuff that needs to be put back. Because a lot of times I'll pick things up that go in those bins. And then, since they're so hot up there, I just don't put them back. Until... It gets like this, which y'all know we've been doing a lot of home projects, so that is why it gets like this. Let me also show you the kitchen because that's the other area we're working on today. So I've got a we've got lots of packages, so I had to um, open them and then we're gonna get those cleaned up. And one of the biggest reasons why I want to work in the kitchen today and organize is because I have a lot of organization stuff in those boxes. This down here is like recycle trash, but all this right here is organization supplies. So we're going to tackle all that today so that the kitchen can be clean. Aaron said he would do the dishes for me, so that's great. That's great. So yeah, 
perks of having a small house is this isn't this shouldn't take us like a huge amount of time so every day just to keep me kind of tunnel vision and doing what i need to do i have been turning on spotify not sponsored um and just listening to the music in the background and yesterday i listened to this playlist it is the popular christian music playlist and it's on spotify so um yeah that's what i'll be listening Caught in the moment of finally getting through Fading like a distant call I do not remember those days at all But I will never be here if it wasn't true So let me laundry area is straightened up now all my stuff's up there um so yeah happy with that i have one more load of laundry to do and then i'll be done with my laundry so now we're gonna move in to the kitchen what is that is somebody on a lawnmower yes <laughs> i'm not gonna film him i guess for privacy he may not want to be filmed but um He's on a John Deere lawnmower going down the the gravel road. So funny. Okay. Only in the south. Alrighty. I used to follow behind people on tractors. I thought it was fun. Anyways. We're going to um, get all the trash picked up first. And then I will start unboxing stuff. Also, I got this that I'm going to try today on the uh, kitty litter i'm going to clean out their litter boxes and then kind of just spray this over the top seems fun it's uh says leaves no scent so which i accidentally bought a scented thing of kitty litter one time and they still used it i think my cats are like it doesn't matter just give us somewhere to go <laughs> so i got lucky i guess i know some cats are a little picky all right Let's get to cleaning. Then next morning when I 
can dress in clouds and suns. Maybe, just maybe. I'm so excited to use these in my refrigerator later on in this video. I'm going to take everything out of the fridge, wipe it down, and then play around with these organization bins. These are super nice. If I can find links to them, I will link them down below for you all um, if you want to check them out. But then I was opening up this box. I was curious what it was. And they are magnet shelves for... Uh, like a refrigerator so I'm super excited to put those up on the side of the fridge and give y'all a few different ideas on what you could store in them but I'm just gonna continue going through these boxes that way I can um, get all the cardboard boxes broken down like grocery bags and I was saying to myself well I want to go grocery shopping right now <laughs> I'm so excited to go grocery shopping by the way I should probably make my list in this video but we're not going grocery shopping until the 21st because that's when I get my paycheck and I love to just go on that day and get all the good stuff also music's about to start playing but Wednesdays, we have found are the best days to go. Saturdays are the worst. Well, the weekend's the worst. Alright, so I'm going to get all that trash outside. Um, here is all of the stuff I took out of the boxes. Right there. And then I left... I left that one out of the box. I mean, in the box. Because I'm pretty sure we have plenty here. And Aaron wanted some for... To, like, to organize some of his, like, tools and things. So I'm going to... Let them use that one over there and we're going to work with all this stuff right here also um there's these racks which look really cool because i'm pretty sure you like put them on the shelf and then you can put stuff right there for extra storage and then there's these which i think are for like coke cans which i'm super excited to work with and um, we have some cans right here like a full pack so that's going to be really fun I have a flag to hang up outside, which I don't think I'm going to get to today. Um, this is for the air conditioner. And then, this is really fun. This is for, um, well, it's just pill and stick. And I, I think I may use this in the laundry area for like a backsplash. I think it'd be really fun to have that go across right there. What do y'all think? Also, that light bulb is yellow up there, so I'm about to change it out with a white, uh, daylight one. But let's go ahead and get the trash out first.
Look how good that looks now with the uh, daylight bulb. That is crazy. That's crazy. It makes, I told y'all my door was not like that peachy pink color. It was just the lighting. Look how pretty the door is now. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> and light bulbs are like so inexpensive, inexpensive. So that's definitely something worth changing out. All right, I'm going to take a little lunch break and then I'm going to get back to this. All right, so for my lunch, I have spinach, cucumber, tomatoes, uh, bacon bits, pepperonis. These are uh, the club crackers, pasta salad, and then I have feta cheese. Did I say Caesar dressing? Anyway, and then there's like these little almond slices, walnuts, and cranberry mix in here. I got it from just like a package thing this one i got a fork in my mouth so <laughs> anyway there you go gonna have to start saying don't talk with a fork in your mouth anyways i'm gonna go eat and then we'll get busy again <laughs> i wanted to show y'all an overview of the things we're going to be using today so these came with i believe these are lids that could go on top probably like that yeah which is really nice if you want to have a lid on it. So they also have these little handles right here, which is really nice. So there's those right there. Here's the can ones that I was talking about. Then this right here is like a shelf. Really cool. And then there's some smaller ones like that. These are magnet shelves that would go on the side which this is the side of the refrigerator that's um accessible so we could have like a little oh my gosh uh, <laughs> i didn't even know that it just literally goes on like that there was parts to it so i thought i was gonna have to put it together but i might just hold it up like that for y'all so that y'all can get an idea of it but it does also come with hardware um and then these rods right here that's probably what the hardware is for okay so there's those and I already showed you that so I think that is everything so yeah let's get to work um first things first I'm going to clear out the refrigerator <laughs> Alright y'all, this may be like cringy to say, I don't know, but I'm going to say it anyways because your girl likes to talk. Okay, well, here we go. So, in this process, I was just thinking, like, especially when I took those colorful, uh, like, mats out of the fridge, um, I could just, like, see the bare fridge, if you will, and... I just took a moment to think, wow, I'm so glad we have a refrigerator. <laughs> I'm laughing because, like, okay, it's a refrigerator, sure. But I know someone out there in the world doesn't have a refrigerator. And I'm just very grateful that we have a refrigerator to put food in and to, to organize and stuff. Like, I just think that's awesome. And, like, what a privilege it is. To have um, electricity and a 
appliance that keeps your food cold and um, so that you can have food that lasts months and months in your fridge and you don't have to worry about it going bad. Um, so yeah, just very thankful for the fridge and enjoy the process of organizing today. Why I wasted my time And I'll say I didn't know better But the truth is I was weak and scattered Afraid of the blame Twenty-nine years I've been the same Trying so hard to run from shame And I will not keep up the pace To fool myself I don't need grace I was singing this song in the background y'all <laughs> I was like let me pop in and talk to them so they don't have to listen to two songs straight in a row okay so I've got this one I put the lemons and limes in now I do have the pull out drawers in the bottom that are like the crispers but when I put food down there y'all it goes bad because I forget that it exists if I can't see it and Erin's the same way if we cannot see it it is not real it's not there <laughs> so um that's why I put those in the clear bins and then put them on a shelf where they're exposed and I can see everything okay and then right here I'm doing the meat and then in another one, I'm going to do the cheese. And then the other one, I'm going to do just like one-off things. Like I have a salad toppers pouch. So we'll put that in the random one in some ketchup packets from when we had uh, Wendy's the other day. So that's kind of how I'm going to do things. And I'm sure it will change depending on what kind of groceries we get each week. Can you feel me? 
Y'all, I cracked up when I put these in here because I forgot that that pull-out drawer in the middle of the fridge goes right where I put the flour. So, you'll see me take everything out of the bottom. Um, actually, I took the stuff out of the top, too, and I just kind of reorganize it to where I can fit everything. <laughs> see, right there, I was like, whoops, totally forgot about that. All right, fridge tour time. <laughs> look how nice that is. I love how the cans look in here now with those trays. Um, but got the cans up there, eggs. In this bin, I have all sorts of cheeses. This is a bunch of veggies. Flour and sugar we keep in here. Um, mainly when we get ants, it's just so ants don't get attracted to sugar um so i just stick those there and then all the paint <laughs> yes i have paint in my fridge because i like to keep my paint rollers wet so that i don't have to wash them after every time i use them just a little hack so i have them in this this little one is just like this right here are some brown sugar all of this is meat like lunch meats Aaron's medicine is in this pull-out drawer and then there's nothing in this drawer nothing in this drawer we're running low we're about to get groceries so that's why um you know not much in here and then all of our condiments are right there I just busted my lip <laughs> anyways I was thinking about putting these trays in here so I'm going to play around with it real quick and see what we think i might use these in a different on a different shelf maybe the pantry shelves um but we'll see how it looks here because i would love to put it here like hang it on this and then put some plates in it so that these stay on the bottom so we'll see
I'm so happy with how that organization turned out. So now we are on the side of the refrigerator. I'm taking all of this stuff down and then I'm going to just wipe down the surface before we put together the, what do you call it, the magnet shelves. And I get a little sidetracked, so we're actually going to go in my office real quick. Just uh, scooped out <laughs> there. Nasty, nasty. Oh my goodness, let me get this pumping. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm just gonna spray a little. Also, something I thought about, this is really random, but Chloe's, um, it's an odor eliminator. So Chloe has these giant pee pads she's using right now. <laughs> And you know, little dogs like create this tiny little spot. So I don't want to throw away the whole pee pad just for a tiny little spot. So I could, if it's a problem, like I could just spray it with this so it doesn't stink, you know, which I never smell the pee pads, but yay. Also, these are amazing. They love them and they make no mess. I make a mess sometimes by <laughs> when I'm scooping stuff out. But they just snap in like that. This was such a cool thing to have seen. Because I didn't even know they had these. By the way, this smells very fresh. Sometimes you can get a little bit nose blind after a while. Um, so it's good to have these. Like if if I if we know guests are coming over, I could just like come in here, clean out their litter and then spray this and we won't have to really worry about anything so these things are super cool though they stand right here they kind of go in do their thing with their little head poking out and then they come back up all the little stuff that gets on their feet goes in these little crevices right here and then what i do is i just pop it open dump the everything that fell off of their feet back in the bucket and these are tall of course you know but I feel like they take up less space than what I had before. Um, and no mess. Like I said, I, I have made a mess because I dropped one of their balls. <laughs> you know how it clumps up. And so I need to vacuum in here. But anyways, other than that, it's wonderful. All right. <laughs> We're going to get those magnet shelves on the wall. Um, but I wanted to get Chloe out here real quick because it looks like it could rain today. Also, I just cannot believe that Easter is almost here and then it will be time to get start getting ready for summer, y'all. Alright, so these are really easy to put together. They just come with two hooks for that wooden rod that's going to go across, a screw, a and a nut. I think I said that right. <laughs> a bolt, something like that. You know, the thing that goes on the end. And then you have your little, what did they call that? An Allen wrench. Yeah. So, um, where the seam cuts, Erin had to come through and help me because as easy as it is, 
um, my fingers were just having the hardest time getting everything tightened, so I made him do it. So for the rod, you could put um, S hooks on here and then you could hang stuff that way or you could just drape a hand towel over it. So another suggestion would be to use this for seasoning. Um, I also put like some cleaning supplies up here. You could use it for that. I'm just going to give you all a few ideas. And then I actually, my set of keys has a much bigger hook, so I could hook mine to this, but um, I couldn't find my keys, so <laughs> I just hooked them to the side here. I thought it would be good to um, have your keys there. Well, at least in our house, we have to walk through the kitchen before we leave, and our keys are always in the kitchen, so it makes sense for us. And then I'm just using this manual as a pretend, like, mail. If you're not ready to check your mail, or you have, like, multiple people living in your house, you could just put their mail there. Um, so there's like lots of ideas you could use for that. Y'all can leave some more down below. And I think Aaron was being funny when he put them on the front of the refrigerator. <laughs> um, and then we stuck one beside the um, oven. But now I'm just taking everything out of this cabinet because I had just lined everything up. And so it's hard to see things that are behind each other. So I'm going to use one of these. Um, shelves on the top that I'm going to use that other wire rack on the bottom to kind of separate the things that I was storing down there previously which was like a bunch of beans and then a few canned goods. <laughs> Now that we have the tiered shelf, we can see more so what's behind the other jars. So now I'm just moving on to the laundry room. I'm going to take the towels out of the dryer. Y'all know I was about to put them in that blue basket. And then I thought, this is towels. This is so easy to fold. Let's just go ahead and get it done. So I got those folded and we'll put them away in a minute because I've got to go to the bedroom and make our bed. It is late at night and I have not made the bed yet, but we never get in the bed um, if it's like not made. I always, even if it's right before I get in, I'm still going to make it just so our sheets are not tangled up and everything. Um, and then that load of laundry y'all saw me wash earlier we're going to pop that in the dryer and then we're going to start that second load that I was talking about and then I'll be all caught up on our laundry.
I'm going to use the Gain laundry detergent. I love this laundry detergent. I've used the Tide original and I, I mean, it's a great cleaner, but I love laundry detergent that has a really good smell and the Gain one is amazing. Then I'm also adding some odor blaster. I don't know. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> OxyClean. It's the it's the purple and blue tub. It's for odor. Um, because I think I had a bunch of also some a lot of like washcloths and that get left in the bathtub and towels that are wet. So definitely wanted to use some OxyClean to kind of knock out any of that wet fabric smell. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So now I'm just going to put all this away and then I'm going to make the bed and we'll be done for the day. I think that we got blinded cause when it's good it's great so we can't see we're fading away so it's hopeless that we stay close but it's the life that we chose it takes time to get it right Sleepless days and nights We just need a little more Just a little time For you and I So stay a bit longer Just a little time For you and I Until it's over Just a little time That wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you back here tomorrow for another one. I'm most likely going to be doing some DIYs as long as the weather is good. So if you're into that, definitely come back tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.